Hello, today we're going to look at probability histograms and uniform distributions. Now, a prob probability histogram is just a histogram made with random variables and their probabilities. Now, for instance, if I wanted to draw a probability histogram for flipping heads with four tosses of a coin, first we need to think about what are all my values. So, if I flip it four times, I could get a zero, a one, a two, a three, and a four. Those are all the possible uh, values I can get for uh, flipping coins. That's the uh, x, and again, I should define this, that's the number of heads. Well, I can make a probability, uh, to figure out these probabilities, uh, it would be a little bit tricky. So I'm going to take a second and make a tree diagram. All right. So now I just quickly drew out a tree diagram where this is the first flip, second, third, and fourth. So heads, 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 that happens one time. So getting four that's getting it one time out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus eight more, that's 16. So one out of 16, we get four. The probability of getting three heads, well, that happens in this one. So we already have that one taken care of. Uh, this one's three heads, that one's two. Here we have three heads and uh, two, and then from here on out, we only have one more. So that happens one, two, three, four times out of 16, which is 0.25 or one fourth. Two times, I'll use a different color. Uh, we have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, that looks like it was six times out of 16, and then uh, one time, I got one there, one there, one there, one there, so that's four times out of 16, and then zero times, that's all tails, that's 1 out of 16. And now I'm nervous because I have no idea if I did this right. Let's add these up and see if I got 16 out of 16. So 5, 11, uh, 15, 16. All right, now I feel better. I got that right. So now that I have that, now I want to draw the probability histogram. So what I'm going to do is draw a histogram. And I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The probabilities range from 1 16th all the way to 6 16th. So you can, if you want to do this, you can scale it in decimals or you can put it in, in fraction. So let's. it's kind of nice to just do it in 16th. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So I have 1 16th, 2 16th, 3 16th, 4, 5 16th. And then we'll want to label this as this is the probability. And here is the random variable um, that we're dealing with is number of heads. All right, so now we lay this down. And we have one, four, six, four, one. So one, four, six, four, one. All right. So we could fill it in, color it, but that's good enough for now. Now, uh, now well, there's one more thing that we want to talk about, and it's continuous random variables. 
Uh, when we're looking at continuous random variables, this kind of looks like a histogram, but it's not. It's really a density curve. And in this density curve, uh, we, can, uh, uh, we can find probabilities. This is called a uniform when it, the density curve when it's straight across. The probability is theoretically equally possible for anything. Now, if I want to find probabilities in a density curve, now if they don't tell you, it's going to be between 0 and 1. But if, uh, but if they say between 0 and 4 or 0 and 6, then you have to change your thing accordingly. But here, if to go from 0.3, to go from 0.3 and above, if I shade in this, what percentage of this thing is above that? Hopefully you're saying 0.7. For the second one, I draw this out again from 0 to 1, from 0.2 and below. Hopefully you see that that's 0.2 of the distribution. Our third one, we're going from 0.4 to 0.9. And that makes up half of the distribution because that's 0.5 in there. All right. Hopefully that gets you to do your uh, 